CBS 11. And we will continue to be committed and we're going to unravel whatever we need to unravel. We're going to unturn whatever we need to unturn and we're going to present a full case to the grand jury of Dallas County. Justice is a relay race. It is not a 40-yard dash. Breaking news right now at 11. The Dallas County District Attorney and the Dallas Mayor promised justice after a deadly shooting involving an off-duty officer. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Russ McCaskey. Karen has the morning off. Right now, a Dallas police officer charged in the shooting death of an innocent man is out on bond. 30-year-old Amber Geiger turned herself into the Kaufman County Jail yesterday on a manslaughter charge. It's still unclear what exactly happened inside the Southside Flats apartment in Dallas on Thursday night. Dallas police say that Geiger was still in uniform after just getting off work when she entered the wrong apartment, shooting and killing both of them. And just in the last few minutes, we heard from the Dallas County District Attorney as well as the Dallas Mayor. So let's get right over to CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren. She was at the news conference this morning. Jen, what is the newest information? Well, Russ, this is the first that we've heard from the Dallas County District Attorney since the arrest of Officer Amber Geiger on that manslaughter charge. And with her speaking this morning was the Dallas Mayor. By his side, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, as well as the family of both of Jean and the attorneys representing the family. The DA's office knows this case is attracting international attention, and they set to reassure the public that it will be fully and fairly investigated. One of the many questions weighing on people's minds is why the Texas Rangers determined manslaughter as the appropriate charge for a police officer who shot and killed an innocent man in his own home. The DA's office says they will not talk about the details of what they know happened that night. District Attorney Faith Johnson telling us only that the Rangers had probable cause for a manslaughter charge. Johnson says she had a two hour spirited debate, as she says, with the Rangers on Sunday. And she says it has not been determined that the final determination in this case for Officer Geiger would be manslaughter over murder or any other possible charge. The ultimate decision in terms of what this charge will be will be presented to the grand jury. Faith Johnson, your Dallas County District Attorney, has taken on this case. And believe me, we will make certain that justice is done in this case. Amber Geiger, as you mentioned, is out on bond, posted that $300,000 bond last night. Her arrest coming less than 72 hours after Dallas police say she went into the wrong apartment and shot and killed both of them, Jean. Geiger is a four year veteran of Dallas police in May of last year in Pleasant Grove. Dallas officers got into a struggle with a man named Uvaldo Perez, and during that struggle, Perez was able to get an officer's taser. Geiger was the officer who shot and wounded Perez in that case, but was not indicted. The district attorney said there is no timeline for how long it will take her department to get a case to the grand jury. She says she wants that to happen as quickly as possible, but she will not rush the process. Russ, back to you. All right, Jen, thanks. And we may hear from the family and the lawyers coming up later this morning. Meantime, a funeral service will be held for the victim, 26 year old Botham Jean, on Thursday. Jean was an active member of the Dallas West Church of Christ and was known for his powerful singing voice. He graduated from Harding University in Arkansas in 2015 and worked at Price Waterhouse Coopers. In the past hour, Mayor Rawlings said this about Jean Botham was a model citizen. And when you lose someone like that in this way, we uh, uh, mourn and our heart breaks with that family. The victim, Botham Jean, was originally from St. Lucia. And in about an hour and a half, the prime minister and ambassador of St. Lucia will present the island nation's flag to Mayor Rawlings in Jean's honor. Stay with CBSD at 